currently. One became a breeder. Eight were dropped. One dog was a partially funded guide dog for John Fatro's last guide dog. And they have one dog graduating today. One that is graduating, Kayla. So I can guarantee you that was a lot of whirling and twirling. <laughs> I know, so I know how hard they work at this dance. But I want you to know that they have raised thirty-seven thousand two hundred and seventy-six dollars. We have uh, graduate Chris Diller with her guide dog Kayla, who was raised by the Chris family, represented today by Dave. Amanda. Amanda. <laughs> Um, we knew that Kayla was one special puppy from the day we brought her home. Special in what way was the question. She had many nicknames mostly having to do with her size. Names like Peanut and Pocket Lab. <laughs> she had big shoes to fill and we wondered if she would ever grow big enough to fit that harness. I remember one time we had her at the kennel and one of the GDA staff came running out with a yardstick, curious to measure her and see how tall she really was. But she's turned out perfect, and she's made us so proud. She always had licks and wags for everyone who came her way. In fact, that was our biggest challenge with her. She thought that every person put on earth was here to make friends with her, and every dog put here on earth was to play with her. How would she ever guide someone if she was too busy looking for her next best friend? And we sometimes wondered how her feet stayed on the ground as much as she got that button tail <laughs> But as she got older, she developed a little dignity and control and learned that she had a big job to do. Kayla was always game for anything we threw her way. She was the four-legged member of our Girl Scout troop and loved to hike, camp, sleep in a tent, or just party with the girls. She was always ready for the next road trip or adventure and loved going anywhere we took her. She accompanied us to many agility trials, too. We could swear she was watching the dogs and thinking, I could blow you guys away if I got out there, but I'm destined for a different path. We want to thank Guide Dogs of America for giving us the opportunity to raise this wonderful puppy. Puppy raising has been an incredible experience for me and has led me to many new adventures and to discovering that my biggest passion in life is training and handling dogs. We want to thank Simi Valley Boots and Slippers for being Kayla's sponsor. We had great fun on our visits to events. We will miss this girl deeply, but Chris and Kayla are perfect for each other. We know that they will have many years of joy and great adventures together. Yes, Kayla is a little girl, but she's got a big heart, and she's really, really willing to do anything. And she uh, she keeps me very safe, and I think we're just, just going to have a good time. When I was uh, first starting to think about getting a guide dog, my friend said, Oh, this is be so much trouble for you, <laughs> and uh, it would be really difficult. And my friend Kathy said, Oh, yeah, but... Chris thinks she can do anything, <laughs> and uh, I think now with, with Kayla that will be true. Right. And I really want to thank you all so much. This is, this is wonderful. Thank you.